Hey guys, it's your boy Michael Byron next to you guys, and welcome to uh, Saturday's border crossing from this past Saturday, which would have been um, which would have been recorded on October 12, 2024, on a Saturday. But however, there was no internet that day, so yeah, this is recorded on October 15th, also for the fourth time this is recorded same day. So yeah, but however, this border crossings off of Interstate 89. So yeah, here in uh. Highgate, Vermont. So, yeah. And by the way, guys, if you are new to the channel, leave a like, subscribe for more content, leave a request to get. This one does have a duty free, and like the past, and like for the past first three crossings, there was no duty free. This one has that. So, yeah. This is a. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the video. This is on the VidAI a Interstate 89 in Vermont. So, yeah. So let's go ahead and start. So yeah. Then this is your last and then right here where I'm standing on where I'm showing you on Google Maps right now. Last exit the last US exit um the last exit to your last chance to stay in the US United States before border before the border cross. Which would be US seven southbound Highgate Springs exit twenty two. And your last chance to stay in the United States also. Because a sign, there's a sign right there that tells you last exit before Canada. This one has duty free is located right by off the inter. There's a your American duty free off the off the inter off the main interstate. You'll just get off the exit. If you want to go, to, if you want duty free, you'll go off the exit. You'll go to the right, and when you get to the when you stop at the intersection, take it right on U.S. Seven southbound, and then you'll take another right after that, and you're going to be arriving. The duty free Americans. Should tell you. You just have to go down this way to go to the duty free, I think. It should show me. Yeah, that's it right there, in fact. In fact, you just go down that. You just go right down here. Down there, and yeah. And then when you want to go back on the interstate, you can go straight up here. But to get to Canada from here, and this is simple. Take a left right up here. Take your left. Take the first left turn onto Interstate 89 northbound. And then, but after you make this turn, no more. There's no way turning around at, until you go through customs to get back in the United States. Or you could just turn around. I don't know. But yeah. Anyways, after this exit, there's no more turning around until you go back through customs. The I-89 goes over the border. This is where the boundary line, I think, I think this is where the boundary line would be, I'm pretty sure. No, there's the boundary line. That's where U.S. Customs is. We'll come back there in a minute. But if you continue northbound, the last turn before Canada... This is Canada, where I'm standing, where I'm currently on Google Maps right now. It's where the, uh, we're on the boundary line for Canada and the United States. Go straight ahead. You're going to be reaching the Canada Border Service Agency, known as the CBA, the CBSA, um, by Canada Border Service Agency. Um, so yeah. 18 wheelers or, or bigger than that will need to stay to the right. Lane, the very far last lane to the right. But regular car, regular lanes will be the f first four lanes. Nexus line will be in towards the la the second to last right lane. For if you have a Nexus pass or something like that, then you're going to go through the. You don't have to wait in that line that long. This was 17 years ago here. So yeah. Secondary, it's right here for the regular lines. Obviously, this is where the secondary would be for the 18 wheelers mainly. And the Border Service Agency is at 10 Route 133, St. Alward, Quebec, Job uh, 1T0, uh, Canada. 24 hours and 7 days a week. So, yeah. Now, let's go through back to the United States by taking the I 89 or Route 133 in Quebec. So by doing this, go straight, you know, continue straight, obviously. There is a last turnaround before, before the border. 
sign the Nexus Pass. Yeah. You can use that um, for the for the border. I know that. You have to have a Nexus. Um, you gotta have Nexus to go through that line. I think. I think you have to actually have the app for that. I really don't know. You pretty much do. Duty free and taxes is to your very far right before the border. And this is the boundary. Did you can see the boundary lines right here? This is the last term for Canada. Don't know why they put the gate there, but oh well. No U term, um, because that's where U.S. Customs and Border Protection is right up there. All travelers must report to Customs right away. Not sure what this was before, but this is the U.S. Customs and Border Protection. Um, Highgate Springs Port of Entry at the 480 Welcome Center Road, um, Solomonton, Vermont, 05488. Yeah, I hear you, Mom. 25 hours, a day, 7 days a week, also, here. I think I can show you through here, yeah. So, but, I think the Nexus line will be towards the middle, I'm going to say. Yeah, Nexus is going to be the second to last right lane, besides the 18 wheelers. Oh, yeah. Second drain, I think, is right here. No, for the 18 wheelers, it's going to be right there. That's where the car regular lines would go for secondary. So yeah, that's good. Then after customs and check the customs and checkpoint, you're on your way. The first exit right after the customs checkpoint, which is exit 22. So yeah, those guys, and we'll see you later. Bye bye.